Okay, so hi everyone and welcome to the first of our Hobbies Australia Show Us Your Kits videos for 2020. Uh, it's a new year, it's a new look, uh, and we're going to get straight into it with a shipment that we received on Friday from our friends in South Korea at AFV Club. Now there's some really great kits in here that we've been waiting for. Um, if you're into ships, the 1700 Waterline series, the Knox class um, frigates, really nicely done. Not a heck of a lot of detail, but look, it's 1700 scale and it's a, uh, a model of a ship kit that we've not seen for, for quite some time. Um, apart from that, what have we got? We've got a restock of our egg planes and our toon tanks. Um, some really nice uh, models here from AFV Club, things like the F104, uh, the KV-1 and KV-2 tanks and also the Panzer III. Really nice, tidy little um, fun and funky models and they're available through the AFV Club range. Um, in the 135th, lots of exciting things, uh, some new kits in this shipment and also some uh, returns to stock of some of our old favourites. The, the Schwimmer Wagon in 135th, Normally only seen in this country from Tamiya, but we've got now the AFV Club offering. Really tidy, nicely moulded, finely detailed kit. Um, if you're a fan of German subjects, this is going to be on your must-have list. Okay, so something else uh, that we haven't seen from AFV Club, the, uh, the Stummel. Uh, again, another German subject, the SDKFZ251, but with the artillery piece. Very nicely moulded, uh, another popular German subject, uh, a very nicely done kit, and that's available in retail stores now. So while we're talking about re-releases and reissues of some current uh, or, or very popular kits, um, we've got back in stock now uh, the LCVTP Mark V, used by the American Marines uh, in Vietnam. Um, also used by some of the Allied forces, uh, South Korea, the Japanese military. Um, really nicely done kit. Uh, one that we haven't had back in stock at Hobbies Australia for quite some time. So I'm expecting this uh, to be a very, very popular kit. Leading on to the first of our new releases for January 2020 from AFV Club, and keeping in vain with the, um, the last kit we just spoke about, is the M108. Now the M108, was the precursor, I guess, to the, uh, the, the current American service vehicle, the uh, Paladin system. So the 108 was used in Vietnam, and in actual fact, the Americans um, loaned to the Australian Army uh, a battery of these, uh, I guess possibly in the hope that we'd buy them, but uh, our forces did use these in Vietnam as well. Um, what we've come to expect from AFV Club, um, lots of great crisp detail, very nicely done. Um, there's been a bit of a change at AFV Club. They've obviously got somebody now reading the instructions who, for them, English is their primary language. So the instructions, which were always uh, a bit of a bone of contention, are uh, very, very busy, uh, very, very, at times, confusing. This issue has now been addressed, um, and we'll see that more through their ongoing releases. But the M108 howitzer, um, 105 millimeter howitzer, the L30 combination, that also is now available in stores uh, and also online. So fans of uh, aircraft kits uh, haven't been um, left wanting in this shipment from AFV Club either. And we've got the next reboxing of the U2 spy plane. Now this was originally came out about the, uh, the third or fourth quarter of 2019 uh, and was known as Dragon Lady. Uh, we now see it here in January 2020. And this is the more, I guess, easily recognized configuration of the U2. The all black finish as flown by Gary Powers who was shot down um, over the USSR in the late 60s. Um, really nice kit. Uh, if there was uh, some popularity or some interest in it as Dragon Lady, in the U2 configuration, the U2C, the all black finish, this kit will be incredibly, incredibly popular. The detail on the kits is great. Uh, fine panel lines, lots of slide moulding technology used. Um, all in all, a very, very nice kit. Now also to complement this here at Hobbies Australia, we also have available from Edward the uh, canopy masks and also the photo etch sets to really make this kit an absolute 
piece of work, a piece of art really. Um, and yeah, they're all available now from Hobbies Australia. Okay, so the next two lines, the last two lines of, of uh, new kits in this shipment, for me, these are the standouts. These have been really, really eagerly awaited. The first one we have is the Striker Dragoon. So this is the infantry vehicle uh, that the American Army is currently using, armed with a 25mm Bushmaster cannon. Um, the moulding on this kit is simply superb. Um, AFV have done a lot of work with their Strikers over the years. Uh, this is their latest offering, and boy, this is a very, very nice kit. Um, loads of detail, rubber wheels, moulding, slide moulding technology again is just absolutely brilliant. We see here where um, the instructions have really, really been honed in on in improving the, the user friendliness, I guess for want of a better term, of the instructions. Uh, a nice A4 poster size picture of the, the finished model. Um, the instructions are great. The detail on the parts on the sprues is fantastic. Finely rendered bolt heads, non-slip textures, hollowed out machine gun barrels, a nice little fret of uh, photo wedge, nothing over the top, and just some simple markings. This is going to build into a very, very nice kit of what is currently a very important weapon in the American Army's arsenal. Okay, now, this is, I guess, the icing on the cake for me. When this was announced, um, the M16 MG MC, so the American M3 half track with a quad 50 caliber machine gun mount on it, I thought this was absolutely fantastic. Um, the only one that seems to be currently available on the market is the Tamiya um, mold, and while that's a great kit, um, and I can remember over the years I've built many of those, um, you know, it's a 50 year old mold and it's starting to show its age. Dragon had a very slight offering, but as we know, they bring their stock out, they then retire their molds. We may not see it for another 5, 10, 15 years, who knows. So, AFV Club have picked up um, the slack here and have given us an M16 MG MC. Now, this is retailing in stores for $109. It's available now. And if you want a kit that's got the wow factor, this is your kit, okay? Again, as I've banged on a little bit this morning, the, the usability of the instructions has been, obviously, listened to the complaints of modelers by the management at AFV Club, and they have really lifted um, the standard of their instructions. The parts, um, interestingly enough, we've got two different colours of plastic in here. We've got the traditional AFV olive green, sharp, crisp, really nicely done. But then we have a dark, darker green, which um, I'm not overly familiar with. I don't know if AFV Club are changing their manufacturing processes, or possibly they may have subcontracted some of this work out. What I do know though, is from seeing various pictures online, um, the drivetrain, the chassis sub-assembly, of this vehicle are absolutely glorious. There is a little bit of flash on here, but not a heck of a lot. Um, and careful uh, removal with the back of a knife blade or a seam scraper or a ceramic scraper will fix up all those issues. Um, this will build into a very, very nice kit. Part fit seems to be as we would expect from AFV Club. Um, so if we take our time, if we measure twice, if we cut once, there shouldn't be any real issues producing a first-rate kit. Interestingly enough, um, well for me anyway, um, the decal options on here, apart from the traditional American users, um, Polish during the late Second World War, um, Cold War variants, there's actually a couple of uh, early 1950s Japanese variants in this kit. Now that's not something that we normally see from a manufacturer out of Asia, um, giving you uh, the hobbyist the opportunity to put Japanese decals on there. Um, but it's something different and it's an M16 and I think this is going to be the absolute winner or must have from this current shipment of AFV Club. Um, lots of parts, we'll put up pictures of the sprue shortly. The detail is there. Everything that we, we, we would expect from AFV Club is present. Um, you know, sure, can it be improved? 
by all means, when can a model be improved? Whether that be drilling out exhaust pipes or gun barrels, um, rendering um, telephone cables, that sort of stuff. But this kit, out of the box, will be a very buildable and a very, very acceptable uh, model of what ended up being a very important weapon in the American arsenal at the end of the Second World War. A quad mount 50 caliber machine gun designed from the late Second World War and still in service all the way through to Vietnam. Um, a very nice kit and I think one that you really want to consider having a look at. So that's it, uh, a quick, very quick overview of our January 2020 AFV Club delivery here at Hobbies Australia. Um, Moving forward, you're going to see lots more of these videos. We sort of got them down pat a little bit last year. Um, this year, we've come out with some new ideas and some fresh approaches. Um, lots of things happening here. We've got representation heading to Nuremberg Toy Fair at the end of this week, where we will be submitting to uh, various model manufacturers no less than 60, that's right, 60 Australian subjects for potential models, injection models, also some die cast for 2020 and beyond. Um, in coming weeks, I've got two shipments of Edward arriving, uh, and that is some really great stuff in there. We've got super bugs, we've got the Royal Edition of the P51D, which is a reboxing of Edward's Chattanooga Choo Choo. But the most important thing, the real wow factor in the next couple of weeks is Trumpeter is arriving. And in that shipment will be finally the 1200 Titanic. If you're coming to Toy Fair in Melbourne uh, in early March, we'll have a sample down there, but stock will be available from approximately the middle of February. We've been waiting for over 12 months for this kit, and from all intents and purposes, this kit has really been worth the wait. So if you really want to keep up to date with what's happening at uh, Hobbies Australia with our further shipments of Edward, AFV Club, Trumpeter, uh, all these great brands, Vallejo, that we keep, hit the subscribe button, and let's make sure that we get to talk to you more often. So guys, that's it from me here at Hobbies Australia. Until the next time I ask you to show us your kits, um, it's goodbye from me.